Hello, and welcome back to Bokida. I was considering making the swap and recording with OBS for this one, but I'm going to stubbornly stick with DxTory for one more episode, I think, because I figure there's gonna be at least some amount of playing around with a fade power, seeing what that is, how does it work, what can it do, what can't it do, what's the point, where can I use it, all of that stuff, we'll play around with that. And if there's any time left after I do that and explore further on here, I would imagine if we progress from here, it's probably just gonna be a staircase taking me up and then leading out somewhere in the world, I would imagine, but I don't know. If there's more time, there's always steel finding. I haven't got like a, a map or I haven't checked which ones I have read and which ones I haven't, but there's still 19 whole steels to find, so I feel like I should be able to find at least some of those just on my own without help. Maybe. So that's gonna be something I'll try to do today. And just quickly, the reason I'm being stubborn and not wanting to swap over is not because I dislike OBS in any way. What you see will probably be just the same in OBS as it is in DxTory visually and the audio quality is probably going to be virtually identical. The problem is just that, to make it quick, when I record in DxTory, I can render in Vegas without recompressing because I can do it with the same exact codec and settings and everything like that. When I record in OBS, I cannot do that. Which means render times end up being an hour or two hours, something like that, depending on the video. And then after that, I still need to compress for the same amount of time, which is a couple of hours. Usually I do it overnight. So it's just a bit of a headache for me to create videos using OBS. But it will let me have the overlay. So I'm gonna do that when I actually want to find the last couple of steals to like confirm whether they counted for one or not when I read one. And all of those achievements with like cutting a thousand blocks or whatever, which by the way, at some point I tested out just something, I can't remember exactly what I was trying to do. I was just in the kaleidoscope room before recording one time and just started like placing a couple blocks and slicing a couple just to see how it would work. And the game crashed, just like that. I don't know if it's because it was in the kaleidoscope room and that caused some problems or something, or if it was a fluke or what, but yeah, I'm not sure I'll, I'll be able to record those achievements. We'll see if the game can handle it and my PC can handle it. I don't know. But speaking of achievements, we got three new ones last time. This is probably the, the last time I'll read them out like this. Maybe one more. Because afterwards, if I record in OBS, they should be on the screen. We should be able to just see them right away. I got Complete Attunement. Gather all echoes of the dark planet. And then at the same time, I got Merge with Dust and the Great Oneness. Unlock the ability to return to nothingness. And, surprisingly, reach the 100% completion mark. It happened. I'm 100% complete. Apparently, just the echoes and finding the last power was the only thing counting for completion. So I guess all of the steals do not count for completion whatsoever. So there's that. I'm now technically 100% complete, but there's still quite a lot for me to actually do in this game. So let's see what I can do today. Oh boy. Definitely will have one video with the DX story if I'm gonna have an intro that's like half the episode long. As you do. All right, so now let's just check this. Oh God, it's so bright just coming out of this dark hole and then ending up here. Uh, I didn't check around here because I was like pressed for time. I just want to get things done. But now let's take a look around here, see if I can find anything. Any steals or hidden passages or whatever. Doesn't really seem like it, but just confirm. Don't want to miss anything. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there's much here. No. 
And there was no other steel. Like over here? Wait. Oh, I thought there were two different holes, but no, there's only one. And yeah, this has nothing. And up here in the ceiling is nothing. Nope. And of course, if I try to get out here, it's just an invisible wall. It just ends here. Yeah, it's not even an inv invisible wall. It's just a white wall. This is not actually a window out. So, all right, that was it. Nothing much to check here. Unless this is like something, it probably isn't. Uh, it definitely isn't. It's not even like a, a doorway. Yeah, never mind. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I guess let's just play around with fade right here. What happens? Nothing. What if I use it on a block? It fades away and creates a white block. That's what was happening. I see, so you fade the color from them. Can I then clean it? I can no longer clean it, or push it, or cut it. It's it's now part of the level itself. Interesting. And then fade here, nothing. Fade here, nothing. Really? That's weird. How does that make any sense? So, uh, let's just build a tower here. Fade the, oh, no, fade the tower. And then fade again. Oh, right, right wait, I'm doing the wrong thing. It's right click, right click, not left click. And that just removes the block. And it does not remove anything like this. It also does not remove colored blocks. No, you have to fade them first, then remove them, whatever that means. Again, I, I don't really know what the point is. Why would we need this power? So if I just like make a little door of my own here, Like, there's no way this is gonna work. This won't do anything. Like that. And then... I fade it. And then... Anti-fade it. Whatever. It's just gone. So... I don't really understand. What's the point? Can I, like... Oh man, this might be a bad idea to do it here, because what if this does change it? Then I don't know what's... What's in there. But let's try it. So like that, nope, so like that, and then fade, and it's just a solid wall, and then we remove it, and I think it's still the same location, guess it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, just, just strange, I, I don't understand, why would you ever need this power when you just have clean? Clean does the same thing with less- oh god, I thought I like faced through the, the ground. With less steps, too. Like, there's no reason to use fade on a block or a series of blocks. I guess fade does do it to the entire series. Oh man, I really wish I had the uh, steam overlay now, so I could uh, check like, if I build a giant line of blocks and then fade the entire thing and then delete it, does that count as cleaning blocks for achievement purposes? Because then you could just make a giant line of like thousands of blocks and you don't need to clean them all in one single clean that, that's like range limited, I suppose. Then again, maybe fate has a range limit, I don't know. And I'm just back up here. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be something like that. The bay. Alright, so... What now? If I like... No, wait. Uh, how would I even do this? I can't cover this up really. Yeah, I can't go up here. This is as much as I can do.
Nothing. Probably. Let's go down here. I'm probably gonna be in whatever other area I'm usually in here. I can't remember. Yeah, it's just the nameless again. And sure enough, there's probably more stuff to find here, but I'm gonna wait with that for now. I don't really want to go back there right now. That does not sound like fun to me. Though I probably will need to eventually. Oh, now I'm just here instead. Uh, do I want to be here or do I want to be in the bay? Guess it doesn't really matter. I can be here. Yeah, just... I don't get it. I do not understand. If anyone ever sees this video and you played this game and you have any other idea, please let me know. What the hell is the point of Fade? Why would you ever need it for anything ever? Why is it in the game? It's uh, like completely just... I don't even know. It's, it's pointless. It does nothing that you cannot already do. And it's only used for, like, one single gateway that you open, and then that's a specific one, you can't do it anywhere else. It would be cool if it was something special where you could just make a gateway, like, anywhere you want. Which is right here. Gateway. Whoops. Uh, great gateway. Gateway, and then fade it. And then unfade it. And then just have something, I don't know, like... The Dark World or something? Not sure what that would do, but something. And yeah, I don't remember any other places where you could possibly fill in and uncover something, so I don't think that's gonna be a thing to find. So I guess at this point we just do look around for steals. And then next episode I'm gonna start recording in OBS. So, the question is, where do I go if I want to find steels right now? I don't really know. I'm thinking, honestly, like, over... What's that? This is nothing? That's a weird shadow? That is a weird shadow. Okay, never mind. Weird shadow. Yeah, like, in here, there's nothing I can fade. I want to check over here. I don't feel like I really checked for steals and stuff in this area, so... Let's just go do that. Also, the forest, for that matter. Let's check the forest as well. I didn't really do that. This is one. Did I read this? I don't know if I read this. In this space between the two lies our realm, the realm of the 10,000 things. I think I read this. Primal virtue runs deep and far. It leads all things back to the Great Oneness. I am almost certain I read that. And now it's hard to actually build up near it, but whatever. I guess that's fine. That's enough. And then I did want to check up here as well. Yeah, nothing here. Don't see any steel on the staircase or anything like that. Again, I really hope the performance keeps being stable. Like, it's not good, but at least it's sort of stable until I find all the steels, because I really don't want to have to clear all debris and lose all the, like, markers I've made, because those markers are going to be very handy when I need to find... Oh! I am almost sure I have not read this one, even though it's right there. The way nourishes the 10,000 things, and yet it is not their lord. It has no aim, it is very small. Don't think I read that. The 10,000 things return to it, yet it is not their lord. It is very great. 
okay. I don't know if that was a contradiction, or if it's just, like, supposed to seem like a contradiction, but it's not. So, who knows, maybe that's 18 left at this point? I have no idea and no way to check. Not right now. Yeah, there's just nothing to fade. Doesn't work. But let's just have a more thorough look here. Like, oh man, this is nice. I haven't been on this path before and anything like that. It's pointless, but at least it looks nice. And it just ends here. Yeah, no steel. No nothing. And here's another one. No, that's just a single bar. Yeah, don't see any steels here. Alright, let's just check up here as well. By the uh, monolith. Maybe I missed something. I mean, there is a steel, but have I not read this? Is this a different one than from before I converted it? That would be kind of sucky if some of the steels were like one-time things before the the scenery changed. I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah, didn't I read this? The soothing warmth of the dark mineral. In our realm, all are lured by its irresistible vibration. Resonating, drawing out roots and branches. This power resurfaces from the depths, depths, I hate that word, of the earth. Guided by an invisible hand, every pruned outgrowth seems to reach for the mineral's touch. I don't know, I mean, I've clearly read things that are very similar to that, but I don't remember reading that word for word. So, maybe that's new, maybe not. Oh, here? Nope. Just a little sculpture. All right, well, that's that's maybe something. Maybe I just got two, maybe not. You can't place blocks on the trees. Too bad. Nothing in here. And yeah, I've kind of been there. Wait, that's a steel? Have I read that? Is that not a steel? That's not a steel. It just looked like a steel. I saw like a pixel of black. It's not. Yeah, just this bridge. I mean, I guess I haven't really checked all the way around. I was gonna go the other way. But just below this, like in this valley, have I checked everything here? Like, what is this? Have I been here? Is this anything? Not really, no. Yeah, I've read that. And, yeah, I read something here and placed a marker on it. Okay. Alright, but I want to go back the opposite way and continue on. 
just over here and then right. I'm not sure I've been in this area of the valley. Oh, it just joins up to that river portion. Alright. I mean, there might still be something I haven't checked here, but... I don't know for sure. I mean, I could go on this way, I suppose. Just keep following the valley, or the river. Back in the forest, apparently. And yeah, like all these ruins and stuff. Again, it was a giant monastery or castle or temple, I don't even know. But all of that is like gone now. So did I lose some steals based on that? No idea. But I've been here. And there's nothing like all the way around here. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything, but I guess it's it's good to just confirm that I'm going like around the entire outside of the world and there's nothing here. What about right here? This is nothing. That's nothing. Aha! This is definitely something I haven't checked. Please have a steal. It just leads up in a tower, and I've I've already been in all the towers. Oh boy. Guess that's nothing. I mean, maybe I should check that, but maybe I should just keep going as well around the world. So... I might just have to leave it there for today. And well, I should have said this at the start of this episode, but I, I guess now, with this episode, we're kind of done with everything that's interesting. The whole fade power, I, again, I don't know if there's any point to the fade power whatsoever. Doesn't really seem like it. But now, I just want to find steals before I do the other achievements. So, you might want to skip ahead, because this is going to be very boring and... I, I don't know how much I'm actually going to cut, because if it's just me finding things and just searching the world, then, you know, that's that's what you do in the game. I cut out stuff when I feel like I'm wasting time being, like, dumb or not finding something I'm supposed to be finding or whatever. But here I don't know what I'm supposed to be finding, so I don't know. Doesn't make any sense, but might be a couple boring episodes for a while. So you might want to skip ahead until we do the interesting things, trying to cut a thousand blocks, trying to clean like a trillion, billion, hillion bits and pieces, whatever. And then there's also a speed run, completing the game in 20 minutes. That sounds interesting. I at least want to try that, like once or twice. Try it once, see how quick I am, if I'm even like remotely close, like 30 minutes or whatever. And I felt like I wasted a lot of time, then I'll try it again. Otherwise, I don't know. That sounds interesting. But again, for now, steals. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.